Hello guys, welcome in this new video. In this video, we will talk about mathematics. We will talk about LFSR, Linear Feedback Shift Resist Shift Register, and I will talk you how you can code and implement an LFSR based on his polynomial computation. I will show you just now, but before credit. Okay, firstly, a small definition. What is LFSR? I told you before, LFSR is the acronym of Linear Feedback Shift Register. It is a register when you shift all bytes from LSB to MSB or MSB to LSB in a certain order. For example, this picture comes from Wikipedia. You can search LFSR on the Wikipedia page. And um, it is used in many applications, in radio application, in uh, digital application, computer science, in, um, in a lot of applications to generate scrambling, LFS, scrambling, IV, etc., etc. For what use, what are you using an LFSR? Firstly, for pseudo random generator. For example, when you use the run function in C, if you are a C coder, C, C++, or other language coder, when you use the run to generate a random number, it comes from an, an LFSR. You can use, in radio or in any cryptography application, you can use LFSR to generate, to generate initialization vectors. This is a number. Um, the number is used to encrypt data with a secret key and the initialization vector IV change every super frame, every frame, every two super frame, every second. And it's, it is better to uh, scramble data. It also can be used to scramble scrambling bits or uh, avoid repetition in a radio frame. For example, if you repeat, you, you send always the same data, for example, always one bit with one value or bit with zero value. For the decoder in FSK, it will uh, desynchronize the receptor. So we scramble bits in a certain order, in a known order, to better to ensure uh, that data are always different and bit data are different to, 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 to be sure a uh, receiver can decode properly data. It is mainly used in PMA radio, DMR, DPMR, NXTN, and so on. Okay, how is an LFSR calculated and represented? You can compute it from its polynomial and from the diagram or schematics. Let's take an example. This is a totally uh, arbitrary polynomial. x power 15 plus x power 10 plus x power 6 plus x square or x power 2 plus 1. Okay, normally when you see it, you can, you can tell, oh, what is this? This is just a simple polynomial. Let's analyze a different term. The one, this is the first term, the lowest value term, x uh, power 0 equal to 1. This is the last term, or the, the better, the, the highest term. This is x power 15, this is the 15 bits, or bit 14. Let's, don't, don't confuse, the, the first bit is the bit 0, so the 15 bits is the bit 14. Don't make the confusion. And the plus here, plus, 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 represents an exclusive 
or this is a binary, a boolean operation that is able to uh, mix and to scramble a bit by using the operation, the XOR operation or the exclusive OR. Here you can see there are four plus in an LFSR when we will represent it, you just count the number of plus here, four, minus one. So there is only three XOR in the polynomial that we will represent just after. Okay, how we can implement this polynomial? We have two possibilities. First possibility, I represent here all terms of the polynomial. As you can see, x power 15 is here, x power 10 is here, x and etc. And the one is not represented here, but it comes from here. First possibility, place an XOR. This is an XOR, exclusive OR, on x power 10, x power 6, and x power 1. Oh, there is a mistake. It's, uh, it's x power 2. I, I forgot it here. Uh, there is a mistake here. x power 2. Uh, the representation of the... I will just change it to avoid problem. Okay, good. You can represent it like this one by shifting all bits from LSB to MSB, less significant bit to most significant bit, or you can also represent it exactly the same, but data comes from MSB here and go to LSB, most significant bit to less significant bit. As you can see, if you get only the polynomial of an LFSR and you have to represent it, you cannot know which is the direction of the bit, bit shifting, which direction of the bit shifting to use. So the polynomial alone is not enough to represent it on the schematics. It's important to accompany the polynomial with a diagram and or test vector and or diagram or schematics. This allows to correctly implement the LFSR, the duration of the generation and the direction of the bit shifting and it avoids error. Because there are several directions of circulation possible. MSB to LSB, I show you in the, in, the, in the previous slide, most significant bit to less significant byte a bit, or less significant byte to most significant bit. Both are possible. And if you don't have test vector or if you don't have the, um, the schematics, you cannot know what is the, the correct di direction. Let's see now some uh, used on the market, some LFSR used on the, on the market. This is the uh, scrambler, NXDN scrambler. It comes from the NXDN standard in the chapter security. This is the LFSR used to scramble data. When you enter a key, a 15-bit key in an ICOM or a Kenwood radio to scramble uh, the voice, it used this algorithm. As you can see here, I think there is an error in the polynomial. The polynomial is given with this schematics. The schematics is good, but the polynomial for me is incorrect. This is not x, this is x square. As you can see, the term b0 is x power 1, b1 is x power 2, and here it's x power 2. So I think there is an error. Warning, possible error. For me, the correct polynomial is this. This is important to see that because if somebody gives you only the polynomial to generate, to implement this, uh, this LFSR, you will have an error and you will never get the correct data when descrambling or when scrambling it. So it's very important to make 
test vector to, to adding to add test vector or a schematics when you give when you give a polynomial LFSR. And let's see a second LFSR. As you can see here, the representation is X power uh, 15. So it's MSB most significant bit to less significant bit. Here, this is inverted. The representation starts with 1 plus x power 15 plus x power 27 and so on. And it comes from LSB to MSB. LSB to MSB here. This is the LFSR used in the Annex DN uh, standard to generate initialization vector. When you use the AES or the DES encryption algorithm, in, uh, when you encrypt your communication, the voice or the data, the data, the initialization vector is this. Use this LFSR, and this LFSR is properly implemented. I didn't see any error. Not here, but here I didn't see any error. So we are now at the conclusion. As you, as I said, an LFSR, if you want to represent it to make some mathematics, an LFSR should be represented by a schematics or a diagram and or test vector, but not only by using its polynomial. Because a polynomial does not specify the direction uh, of calculation, the direction of the bit shifting. So, we are at the end of the video. I hope we'll, uh, you will like uh, this video. Uh, this is a small video when you, you just, uh, I, I just want to learn how to implement an LFSR. This is not exactly a radio subject, but I, uh, I'm trying to make it because I think it could be a good thing and uh, it, uh, it can help uh, some people to implement their own LFSR in their own system. Uh, I don't have um, more, uh, sorry, I, I have finished the video now, so thank you for all, thank you, thanks for watching, and uh, stay connected, stay tuned on this, on this YouTube channel, some others video will come soon, thank you and bye bye.